So you guys remember Dr. Seuss and the books we read about him earlier this year. A lot of you also have pets at home. Some people do not have pets. And then they decide, I think I want a pet. And then you have to decide, what pet should I get? Some people decide dogs. Some people decide cats. Some people decide birds or weasels. Some people decide fish. Amira has fish. Um, some people decide. You remember the lady who has a pet badger? And we are the badgers. So I have a book written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss called Sitting Down with a Ready Body. What pet should I get? What pet? Written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. He's the author, which means he wrote, wrote the words. He's also the illustrator, which means he drew the pictures. We got a dog, a cat, a bird, and a fish on this page on the title. Let's see what they choose. Listening ears. We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? A cat. A cat and a cat. Too much noise. Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. We went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. They're going to the pet shop to pick out a pet. Maybe they're old enough. He went with a buddy, though. He went with Kay. I wonder if Kay is his sister. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands. So we shook. Nice to meet you. So I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat. And she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. Good thinking. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now, how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten. They looked like good fun. Now, which would we pick? We could only pick one. Do you hear those rhyming words? Fun, one. They rhyme because they sound the same. Make up your mind the cat or the dog the kitten the pup oh boy it is something to make a mind up they can only pick one oh boy then i looked all around and i saw something with wings i said look at him we can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. Oh, it is his sister. We can go home with a rabbit today. So they see a bird and now a rabbit, in addition to the dog and our pup and the cat and our kitten. They can only pick one. Mm. Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all the pets that I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know mother told us to be back by noon. That's what time it is right now. Noon? Noon. 12 o'clock p.m.
in the middle of the day. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said, what pet should we get? But you know what K did? Let's find out what K did. Do you know what she did? She said, fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. Now we've got a dog and our pup, a cat and our kitten, a bird and a rabbit, and now fish. How are they going to decide? Then I saw a new kind and they were good too. How could we pick one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one. That is what my dad said. How could I make up that mind in my head? What did he see that was new? Monkey. Monkeys. Some people do have monkeys for pets. Hmm. Say it with me. Say make. Let's try it again. Say make up your mind. Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. Noon. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I may find. I might find a new one. Look at this. I bet you've never seen one of these. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but our house is so small. This thing on a string would bump bump in the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. I don't know. Maybe it's called a string of a do or a string a ling. So maybe some other good kind of pet. Another kind maybe is what we should get. We might find a new kind of pet who is tall. A tall pet who fits in a space that is small, like the desk. Look, this tall pet fits under the desk. My mother might like this pet best of them all. A pet, a tall pet that fits in small places. Look at his hair, wild haircut. If we had a big tent, then we could be able to take home a yent. Dad would like us to have a good yent, but how do I know he would pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet? How can you make up your mind what to get? But... You can only get one. Mm. No. If we took one of each kind of pet, then our house would be full of the pets we would get. No, dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. You hear none and one rhyme because they sound. Yeah. They have, they have to pick, otherwise, they won't get any. Yeah. Oh. Uh, turtles, dogs, monkeys, cats, fish, rabbits, birds. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up the mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat. I picked one out fast. And then that was that. What do you think? Do you see its eyes in the basket? No. Yeah. Uh I don't know. Oh, you guys. You guys, that's the end. Azzy, we never find out what pet they picked out. It fits in the basket. But the rest of the book, this is interesting. It shows Dr. Seuss when he was a boy. And he, what does he have with him? His pets. So Dr. Seuss had pets growing up. Here's Dr. Seuss as an adult with his pets. Got a dog. 
You mean the one on the wall here? What? The dog's just laying down by the pool at the beach, and then he's got another dog. That's when Dr. Seuss is a little older. And then he has some drawings of how he came up with what pet should I get? And that's the end page. And there's a picture of Dr. Seuss on the jacket flip. Okay, think for five seconds without talking about what pet you think they got. Think. Back row, okay, back row. Okay. When I count to three, you're going to whisper to the person next to you what pet you think they got. Whispering in one, two, three. Um, 